my name is Basia. I come from Poland, from War from Krakow. Uh, I just completed one month theater retreat uh, with Tree of Light. Um, and what made me come here is I felt that I'm blocked in my life. I cannot move forward. Um, and I'm stuck in a situations with, which are maybe not serving me to move forward. And probably also the situations from the past, which are uh, some kind of locking the door to also move with your life somehow. Like, I needed a big change, I think, yeah, that was the moment. Well, the ceremonies, uh, yeah, I have to say that at the beginning I was a little lost, yeah, it was pretty chaotic. Uh, I was like not, uh, couldn't find myself over there, uh, it was pretty hard. Um, and a lot of stuff which was showing up in the ceremonies, so it was like from my childhood and my relations with my father uh, to my, I don't know, art, artistic stuff, uh, through the relations which I'm going through right now and many different stuff which were like popping out from many different directions and uh, and then uh, with every other ceremony um, it was I think it was like uh, a little bit settling down and the things which were not really so important we were uh, disappearing uh, yeah I had this uh, really uh, two pretty rough ceremonies with my visions of these concentration camps and uh, uh, and the situations over there with uh, with with like little kids uh, um, behind the concentration camp uh, wires, uh, which was completely which was completely lost in the situation, like panicking and. Uh, and uh, destroying its head uh, uh, at the wall of the of one of the buildings, and that was pretty pretty heavy heavy thing. I still don't uh, uh, didn't process that that one. I think this this is gonna come. What was that? Especially it came later. And also, what was interesting that uh, after these ceremonies with concentration camps. Uh, I was more into my like art questions and my artistic uh, uh, directions, and uh, I saw my paintings behind the same wires. They are colorful and they are happy and they are very, uh, very like joyful. Let's say uh, they make people like smile, and they were all behind these uh, concentration camp wires. So I think that was my very deep problem that uh, which I feel uh, that I lost the sense of my art that it doesn't satisfy me with the meaning of it it's not the thing people love it it's nice but it's not what I would like to share I guess uh, so maybe this is this direction maybe it's something from from more from the past from my grandfather who was in concentration camp it's very possible I will uh, I guess I will get into the subject when I come back to Poland. Mm, what else? And then, uh, then it started to be more clear, the ceremonies, and uh, I started to feel that all the, all the pieces start to go into the right place. Uh, I felt also more like accepting what is coming, more like trust. Uh, trust to the future that, you know, uh, we don't have to have these old fears and everything uh, which are blocking us. Uh, we can just trust the universe that everything will be fine. Um, and also, I think about my art, which I discovered last ceremonies, which is pretty important, I think, is that I was too arrogant. I was not humble enough and I was looking for always the inspiration inside of me that this is something I'm creator and I'm doing it and this is mine and what ayahuasca showed me like very directly she, she told me like now during this ceremony when you have this intention like you keep your eyes open 
and you don't look inside of you, you look around and you take what is outside. And that was pretty amazing because it was really hard to keep these eyes open, but I was getting these signals all the time, like see, you're sitting here and you are just looking around and you are just taking it from outside. You are just a messenger, you are not a creator. And that was pretty amazing. Uh, especially I also had the chat with, uh, with Pedro, which helped me with it at the beginning, which was like at the beginning, beginning of retreat. So I was understanding it, but I didn't feel it. And during this last ceremony, I really felt it like, yeah, this is, this is it. This is what we are here for. And we have to be a little bit more humble and that will make our life much easier. <laughs> the people who are creating this wonderful place here and space, uh, I think um, I have never met people like that in my life. And I'm very thankful that uh, I could work with uh, Carolina, Pedro and Juanita and Manuela at the beginning of the retreat. And what I have to say, the most important thing of all the positive things I could like talk about here is that they are building this amazing space where you can feel really, really safe. And even like you have like small problems or big problems or whatever it is, you feel just safe and secure that you can share, you can ask, you can, you are in the place where you are a piece of like big wonderful family and you feel like full acceptance, which is very important in a, in a process like that, which is very heavy. So yes, I think this is very big blessing that I could work with guys like that with these wonderful people. I'm very thankful. <laughs> so finishing this retreat and coming back home, uh, like for the first two weeks here, I was very, very afraid that when I will be back, I will not find myself. And uh, that uh, the, the, the biggest my fear was that I will just come back directly to the same situations I've been before coming here. But, um, now I don't feel this fear so much. Uh, I feel that big changes are coming in my life because I've changed. Uh, uh, a lot of things has to be uh, has to go into a different direction, and and I feel excited. I feel excited. I know it's going to be very hurtful, very painful sometimes. Uh, some relation will have to like gone away and attachments which we have uh, but I'm looking forward for that challenge which is very strange feeling because yeah for like the half of this staying here I was like oh my god I will be back and it's gonna be the same or I will be very have to be very fighting to not jump into the same uh, path but this uh, now I feel excited. How it's gonna be? We will see. And I know that it's gonna be huge work behind me still. But I feel that power that I can do it. Definitely, definitely. Which is which is wonderful. Yeah. <laughs>